JC from Craft Life, and I'm here today to teach you how to make a rainbow 3D football. You do not need to make your football brown. You can make it your favorite football team colors or any color you would like to make yours. The supplies you'll need to make this are one rainbow loom, a rain bloom hook or a crochet hook, scissors, rubber bands, today I'm using brown and white, and you will also need something to stuff your football with. Today I'm using polyfill, but if you do not have polyfill, I heard that cotton balls, napkins, or even tissues work great too. So please get your supplies and we'll begin. To begin, we are going to set up our rain balloon, so we're going to start by taking out our middle row. Then we're going to take this row out and we're going to turn it around so that its arrows point to the left. And you're just going to push this down. You're going to turn it over and we're going to take out our big blue piece. So now you're just going to push this all down and we're going to start laying our rows. So we're going to start on this side and we're going to double the end. So we're going to take our first rubber band, twist it on our finger, and make an X from here to here, and push it down. Then we're going to take another rubber band, twist it on your finger, and make an X from here to here, and push it down. For the rest of the X's, they are going to be normally laid. You do not have to twist them on your finger. And you're just going to lay these all the way until you get to the other side and push them down as you go. Okay, so now once we are on the other side, you're going to take another rubber band, twist it on your finger, and you're going to make an X from here all the way over to here and push it down. Now we're going to make an X from here to here and twist it around your finger. And then make your X. And push them all down. Now we're going to make X's from peg to peg all the way down. And on both ends, we're going to double them. So you're just going to take a rubber band Place it on your finger and twist it once. And you're going to make an X from peg to peg on this side. And push that down. For the rest of them, you're just going to lay them normally. You are not going to twist them around your finger and you're just going to push them down. Now we're on the other end and we're just going to take a rubber band Twist it on our finger and make an X from here to here and push this down. So make sure they are all pushed down and we are ready to start laying our rows. And to lay them, we are just going to go in a counterclockwise rotation and do not push them down. Now we have a bottom row and a top row and we're just going to bring our bottom loops over the top and if you are not sure about how many to bring over, you just want to make sure that you have two at the top, then stick your hook in downward and bring the rest of them over. So just go around and do that. Now you're just going to push these down. Now we're going to lay our next row. We're just going to go around in a counterclockwise rotation and do not push these rubber bands down.
Now we have a bottom row and a top row, and we're just going to bring our bottom two loops over the top on all of our pegs. Now you're just going to push these down. So we've just done two rows together and you want to have three rows in total for one side of your football. So you're going to do one more row of whatever color you are using and you're just going to lay this row in a counterclockwise rotation. Then bring your bottom two loops over the top in a clockwise rotation and then push them down as you go. So once you have finished your three rows, you are going to move on to the white or whatever other color you are using. And you're just going to do two rows of that color. So I'm going to be doing two rows of white and I'm going to do the same thing. Lay my rubber bands in a counterclockwise rotation. Then bring my bottom two loops over the top in a clockwise rotation and push them down as you go. So please do one more row of the color you are using and then please do two more rows of the white or whatever other color you are using and I'll be right back. Now you should have three rows of your football color and two rows of your stitching color. And now we're going to do these three rows before we do the other stitching color. So I'm going to do three more rows of brown and I'm just going to lay them the same way and bring them over the top the same way. And you, we have done this part and this part and we are moving on to these three rows. So please do your three more rows of your football color and I'll be right back. I just finished my three more rows of my football color so now I'm up to here on my football. And now we are going to start the center stitching part, this part. And to do this we are going to take our stitching color, for me I'm using white, and I'm going to lay it as my first rubber band there. And then I'm going to go all the way around in a counterclockwise rotation and lay my football color. And do not push these rubber bands down. Now we have a bottom row and a top row and we're just going to bring our bottom two loops over the top on all of our pegs. So now you're just going to push these all down. And make sure every time you start a row, you have your stitching color towards you on this side. So now we have just done one row and you want to have six rows in total for your center stitching. So you're going to do five more rows of laying your rubber bands in a counterclockwise rotation. And for your rows, remember, you lay your stitching color and then you go all the way around with your football color. Then once you have done that, you're going to bring your bottom two loops over the top in a clockwise rotation and push them down as you go. And please do five more rows of this and I'll be right back. I've just finished my five more rows and I have six rows in total for my center stitching here. And if this video is going too fast for you, please pause the video, do your rows, and press play when you are ready to begin again. And now we are going to be doing this part of our football. So we are going to do three more rows of our football color and then two more rows of our stitching color. So you're just going to do the same exact thing of laying your rubber bands in a counterclockwise rotation. Then bring your bottom two loops over the top in a clockwise rotation and push them down as you go. So please do three more rows of your football color and then do two more rows of your stitching color and I'll be right back. I just finished my three more rows of my football color and I also finished my two rows of my stitching color and we are almost done. All we need to do is three more rows of our football color 
and we're going to do the same exact thing that we've been doing for the whole entire football and we're just going to lay our rubber bands in a counterclockwise rotation then bring your bottom two loops over the top in a clockwise rotation and push them down as you go. So please do three more rows of your football color and I'll be right back. I've just finished my three more rows of my football color and now we are ready to hook this all off and we are ready to be finished with it. So on this peg, we need to make a quick change and we're gonna take the top loop and we're gonna change it to the bottom and take the bottom loop and switch it to the top. So you're gonna put the top loop on your finger then you're going to take the bottom loop, put it on your hook. You're going to put the loop that's on your finger down first. Then you're going to put the loop that's on your hook down. Now we're going to start on this peg. And we're going to take the bottom loop and bring it to the peg next to it. I know it's my bottom loop because it hooked the loop behind it. And you're just going to go around and make sure that you grab your bottom loop each time. Bring it to the peg in front of it. I know it's my bottom loop because it hooks the two loops behind it, like that. And you just want to go around and do the same thing to all of your pegs. Make sure it's your bottom loop, and it is. And continue. Now on your last peg, you're just going to stick your hook through those two rubber bands. Grab a rubber band, place it on your hook, pull this through, place it back on, and pull one loop through the other. Now we are just going to make a chain, a double chain, so we can sew the top of this up. So to make this chain, it is 10 loops long and takes 20 rubber bands to make. You're going to take two rubber bands, place them on your hook, grab two more rubber bands, place them at the top of your hook, pull these two through, place it back on, and pull these two loops through the other two loops like that, and pull that tight. Now you're going to grab two more rubber bands, place them on your hook, Pull this through, place it back on, and pull these two loops through the other two loops and pull that tight. So now you're just going to continue this until you have a total of 10 loops. So far we have three and you need to do seven more. I have one already finished. It is 10 loops long and 20 rubber bands. And now we're going to start on this peg, the peg with the slip knot on it. And we're just going to stick our hook in, grab our chain, and pull it up until you get to the second loop on this side. Now for the rest of them, you're just going to stick your hook up and pull your chain down. Like that. And you're just going to continue sticking your hook up and pulling your chain down. Stick your hook up and pull your chain down. So now once you run out of room on your chain, you're just going to pop off the rubber bands that are on your chain. And on your last one, be very careful. Now we're just going to take our chain and pull so that we have more room on it to add more rubber bands. So stick your hook up and pull your chain down for the rest of them.
And now we're ready to fill it with stuffing. Now we're just going to take whatever we are using to stuff our football and we're just going to put it inside. Okay, so now once you think that you have filled your football enough, you are just going to pull on your chain and close up the top. Whatever can't be closed up is just going to be sewed together with this rubber band. So we're going to tie our two ends of the chain together. Now you're going to take your scissors and we're going to cut right above where the rubber bands meet on both strands. Now you're just going to take your hook and you're going to tuck them inside. So stick your hook up through until you get to the middle there. You're going to place these rubber bands on your hook. like that. So now once they are placed on, you are just going to hold them and then pull your hook down like that. And then you're going to come out and you're just going to let them go. And now we are just going to sew up the rest of the top with this rubber band. So we're going to stick it on our hook, grab another rubber band, Place it on, pull this through, place it back on, and pull one loop through the other. So now we have two rubber bands to work with and we're just going to sew it up. So stick it in across, pull it through, stick it in forward, Pull it through and just keep sewing yours up. I am just going to be sewing mine a few times from side to side, from here to here and back around. Just keep going so that it gives it a pointed look at the top here. So I'm just gonna stick my hook in again across from where my loop is. Pull my loop through, and it gives it more of a point. And I'm just gonna keep doing that. Now, once you are done sewing, you are just going to stick your hook in up until the middle. Then you're going to place that loop on your hook, hold it, and pull it down. Now on the side, we're just going to do one last thing. We're going to stick our hook through the top there. We're going to grab two rubber bands, place them on our hook, and we're going to pull these all through. Place them back on and pull these two loops through the other two loops and pull them nice and tight at the top there so that now you have a point on this side. And now we're going to make another slip knot to tie it onto, so just stick it through some random rubber bands. Grab a rubber band, pull it through, place it back on, and pull one loop through the other. And you're just going to tie these loops all together. And then finally, we are just going to tuck these rubber bands in. 
So stick your hook in again and you're going to pull these all down. So just start by placing them on your hook and then pull them with this finger and just pull them down with the hook. And I have one rubber band sticking up, so I'm just going to come back up and pull that thing through. Like that. And now I have a point on this side, and I need to do the same thing to the other side to get a point. So now on this side, we're just going to stick our hook in through some rubber bands. We're going to grab three rubber bands this time because we are pulling them through a lot of rubber bands. You're going to place them on your hook and pull these through. Place it back on and pull these three loops through the other three loops. And pull them tight but do not pull them too tight or else they may break. You don't want that happening. And now we're going to go through this side and we're going to grab two rubber bands, place them on our hook, pull these through, place them back on, and pull these two through the other two. And we can just tie these three loops to these two loops. And I'm going to be using my hook to help me. So stick my hook under, pull these through. And now I need to pull these through and I will be done. So I'm just going to stick my hook down and then bring it up. Stick all of these loops onto my hook. Yes, this is a lot to bring down into my football, but we're going to do it. We're going to pull them with this finger and then pull them down. into your football. Then when you come to the outside you are just going to let them go. And you can shape your ends more if you want them more, more pointed. And you are done. This is what they look like when they're done. And I hope you enjoy this tutorial and if you make some I'd love to see them. My Instagram is CraftLifeUSA, so please tag me in a photo. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, pin it on Pinterest, and subscribe right here on YouTube. I hope you're living a craft life just like me. Thanks for watching. Bye!